All right, I gotta keep it real with you. I'm getting so tired of paying Google every month just to store all of my old photos and videos that I barely even look at half the time. Like seriously, right now I'm dropping $10 a month for two terabytes of cloud storage. And at the rate that I'm going, according to Google, I'll probably have to upgrade to the five terabyte plan in about two years. That one's $25 a month or $250 a year. Like that's crazy, just to store stuff that I don't even look at half the time. So yeah, I had to figure something out fast. Now, here's the deal. When you make a Google account, they give you 15 gigabytes of free storage. Sounds decent at first, but if you're anything like me and you're constantly snapping pictures, saving stuff to drive or recording videos in 4K, that space gets eaten up real fast. Just to give you an idea, a single four to five minute video in 4K resolution already takes up one gigabyte of storage. So yeah, that 15 gigabytes doesn't last long at all. And once you hit that limit, Google pretty much locks everything down. You won't be able to back up anything new, you can't send or receive emails, and your only options are either paying up or deleting stuff you probably still want to keep. Sure, you could start backing up everything to an external hard drive or even set up a fancy NAS server, but let's be honest, that stuff's expensive, complicated, bulky, large, and doesn't have the slick search features like face recognition tools or amazing AI photo editing perks that Google Photos already provides. So I started digging around and guess what? I found a few sneaky little workarounds that let you keep using Google Photos and get unlimited cloud storage. Yes, unlimited, even if you're on Android or iPhone. And the best part is that all of this is 100% legal. No shady hacks or sketchy third party stuff. I'm gonna walk you through all of them step by step. And trust me, I saved the absolute best method for the very end, so stick around for that. Oh, and while you're here, make sure to save this video so that you don't lose it later on. And maybe even share it with a friend who's tired of paying for that monthly fee too. And drop a thumbs up if you want me to keep making more clever stuff like this. Anyways, let's dive in. Let's start with the first trick, which is built right into Google Photos and is completely free to use. It's a feature called partner sharing. And to find it, you can just tap on your profile icon, then photo settings, sharing, and there it is, partner sharing. Now this is a really neat feature to have because it lets you link a second Google account. It could be one you just made or one that you've had forever. And any photos or videos you take on that second account will also pop up within your main one, even being searchable or allowing you to edit them too. The only difference is that all of that shared data won't count against your main account storage space. So to set it up, just pick a start time. I set mine to all time. And then afterward, you can type in the email of your second account. I can then confirm it. And after that, I switch over to the second Google account and accept the partner invite when it pops up. If it doesn't pop up right away, don't worry, just give it a few seconds or restart the app. Or you should have also received an email with that Google Photos invitation, so you can accept it there too. After that, you'll see a new page with a menu called Auto Save Pictures. This is the secret sauce, because this feature lets your main account automatically see all the shared photos and videos that you take from your second account. And again, all that media won't be counted toward your primary Google storage space. It's even in the fine print. In other words, I can take photos and videos while being signed into the second account, let everything be backed up, and then those files will also show up on my main account without using any of the storage. Plus again, I still love that I can search for those photos easily without needing to switch accounts. So yeah, you're kind of getting free cloud storage here, basically merging two Google accounts together. On top of that, you can only partner share with one account at a time. Is it a little tedious? Yeah, but if you're mostly backing up photos and not a ton of videos, this can really stretch your storage without paying a dime. The second thing you can do to save a ton of storage is quickly compress all your photos and videos. You might remember that when you first set up Google Photos, it asked you if you want to back everything up. And then in the settings, you could change the backup quality to original quality so that all the photos and videos save at full resolution or storage saver, which means that they save a slightly lower quality, but with a much smaller file size. Now, if you picked original quality back then, and you're starting to regret it because your storage is almost full, don't worry. You can actually go back and compress everything you've already uploaded. It's super easy too, but here's the catch. You can't do it through the app. You've got to do it on Google Photos website for this one. 
So go to photos.google.com, then tap on the little hamburger menu, scroll all the way down to storage and tap it. Then scroll again until you see recover storage, tap on learn more and boom, a hidden menu that lets you compress all of your previously uploaded photos and videos so that they take up way less space. Now, just a heads up, once you do this, there's no going back. You can't just re-upscale everything to its original size later on. But honestly, for most people, the difference in quality is barely noticeable. Unless you're a photographer or super picky about resolution, it's probably totally fine. This could actually save you enough space to downgrade your Google One plan too. Imagine that, same photos, less money out of your pocket every month. Not too shabby, right? Now, even if you're backing up all your photos and videos to Google super secure servers, that doesn't mean your online data is totally safe. We kind of take for granted how easy it is to get hacked these days. Google themselves have even been breached plenty of times in the past. And if you're not using a VPN, you're basically leaving the door wide open for your data to get leaked too. Personally, I've been using Surfshark for years now to sponsor this video because they're the most affordable VPN out there, less than four bucks a month. And the best part is that one account can cover all your devices and family and friends devices too. That way everyone stays protected. Plus there's even a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't love it, you can cancel anytime and get your money back. Let me give you a quick example. The other day I got this phishing email pretending to be about an Amazon Prime delivery. If I clicked it, who knows what kind of malware would have ended up on my device. That's why stuff like Surfshark is a no brainer. It's not just a VPN, it also comes with antivirus protection, alerts if your info shows up in a data breach, anonymous browsing, the works. I especially love it when I travel too. If a website, a Netflix show, or a YouTube video is blocked, I can just switch my virtual location in Surfshark and boom, access granted. And get this, some websites even change their prices based on where you are. Like they'll literally charge you more just because of your location. Surfshark helps you get around that too, so you're not getting ripped off. So if all this sounds useful, make sure to go to surfshark.com slash htm, and hey, you'll even get an extra four months for free. Go take a look. All right, now this last trick is hands down the best way to get unlimited Google Photo storage on your account forever. But fair warning, it does involve spending a little bit of money up front. And I would only recommend it to those who are at the $10 per month mark on their Google One account, or even higher because that's when it really makes sense to do this method. So here's the deal. When Google first dropped the very first Pixel phone way back in the day, they gave it this super exclusive perk, unlimited photo and video backups in original quality forever. No other phone, not even the newer Pixels till this day had that deal. And the wildest part is that Google is still honoring it with the phone no longer supporting any more updates and being stuck on Android 10. Now, obviously, I'm not telling you to ditch your current phone and start using an eight year old Pixel full time. That would be insane. But here's the play. You can get an OG Pixel off eBay for less than $100. I got mine for just $68.95. It just came with this broken SIM card tray, but that wasn't really an issue as I'm just planning on using the Pixel as a backup station. From there, you can move your new photos from your current Android over to the OG Pixel. Now, of course, I can transfer those files manually, but that would be annoying to do so each time. So instead, to make the process a lot more streamlined, I just use this app called Resilio Sync. I downloaded it on both my main phone, which is the Galaxy S25 Ultra and the OG Pixel. What Resilio does is basically sync a folder between the two devices. So anytime I take a photo on my Galaxy, it'll automatically show up on the Pixel and then the Pixel handles the upload to Google Photos with that sweet unlimited storage. Setting it up is pretty simple too. In Resilio, you just tap the little plus icon, create a new folder and pick the folder where your camera saves your pictures. Usually it's under DCIM and then camera. Then tap choose folder, then create, and boom, you'll see all your photos and videos listed right there. Now quick tip, if you already backed some of these up to your Google account, I would recommend just deleting them first. Otherwise, when the pixel re-uploads them, you'll, you'll get duplicates. Nobody wants that. Okay, now to sync the pixel, tap the three dots in the top right corner, go to details and turn off selective sync. You don't want to have to manually pick files every time. Then go to the gear icon and switch the permissions to read and write so you can manage files on both ends. After that, go back 
and hit the QR code icon. Then grab your Pixel, open Resilio, and then tap the plus icon, and then you're gonna wanna scan the QR code. Once you scan it, bam, you're connected just like that to the folder. Make sure you also turn off Selective Sync on the Pixel, and feel free to rename the folders to something like Galaxy or whatever device you own so that you can stay organized and know which phone those files are coming from. It comes in handy too if you're syncing more than one device, which you totally can do. And by the way, even iPhones work with Resilio since the app is also on the App Store, which is kind of awesome. Once everything's synced up, just go into the Google Photos app on the Pixel, find the synced folder, which is the Galaxy in this case, and toggle on the backup. Now, every time you take a photo or video on your main phone, it'll automatically get sent over to the Pixel and get backed up in original quality and take up zero space on your Google account. Yup, unlimited storage, just like that, and you can keep your Pixel inside a drawer or constantly charging somewhere in the house. Thumbs up for that. One last thing, make sure that the Resilio app doesn't get shut down in the background. So on the OG Pixel, you can go into the app info page, then battery, battery optimization, and set it to show all the apps. Then you need to look for the Resilio Sync app, which is weirdly just named Sync on this page, so you can just search that, and then change it to Don't Optimize. You'll also wanna do the same thing on your main phone, so if you have a Galaxy, just go into the App Info page, then Battery, and set it to Unrestricted. Or for any other Android, you can go into the App Info page too, App Battery Usage, tap on allow background usage and change it to unrestricted. That way the app keeps running in the background and automatically syncing without you having to babysit it. And that's it, you're officially hacking the system legally. Free unlimited photo storage for life, unless Google ever pulls the plug. But honestly, it's been eight years and they're still letting it happen. So I think we're safe. Anyway, tap on this video to learn about 20 great apps that can improve your Android experience or this one for a sneak peek at what's coming in Android 16. If you found this video to be helpful in any way, drop a thumbs up and share it with a friend so that they can also save some money. Thanks for sticking around till the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!